honestly speaking, Aaliyah was the best part of that movie. If it wasn't for Tony, Tony, oh. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm coming back with a new topic, a new video. Before I begin, I want to thank everybody for the birthday wishes. Thank you for the shout outs. Thank you for the reposts on Instagram, my guy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. And you know, I really enjoy myself. I'm 26 now, 26. I was really thinking hard. I'm like, what's gonna be my next video? And you know, it just hit October. Happy October to everybody. And you know, this is the month of Halloween where everything is Halloween theme and scary this, scary that. And I was like, okay. And I was like, Aaliyah was in Queen of the Dam, which is, it's not like the most iconic Halloween movie ever, but it's for her time, for her period, and for her legacy. For her to be a part of that movie and that character that she created and molded and made still iconic to this day 20 years later queen akasha from queen of the dam i really want to discuss alia's character and queen of the dam the impact of it and the potential of her film career like what other characters could y'all have seen alia playing you know, what other franchises could y'all see Aaliyah in? Could y'all see her in Halloween, you know, Freddy vs. Jason, or, how, you know, we all know that Aaliyah was going to do The Matrix, but I feel like I could have seen Aaliyah in many different franchises throughout the last 20 years, and her playing that character, Queen Akasha, in Queen of the Dam, that just, that just showed the cuffs, that just showed a little sprinkle of her massive potential that she had. As an audience, we really got to see Aaliyah grow. Who would have thought that Aaliyah from seven years ago in 1994 doing this would end up doing this? You see what I'm saying? Like, the potential and the growth and it's just like, wow. But, before we even get into that, let's just be honest, right? I gotta be honest and say, if it was not for Aaliyah, I would not give a fuck about that movie. Let's be honest. Do y'all feel the same way, right? Not for Aaliyah being in that movie, I would not give a rat's about that movie. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would not give a tiger shit <laughs> about that movie. Because it's just like, let's talk about the movie in general. Like, I know there's a minority of people that are fans of it. They like it. It's in their top 10. Some people like the movie. A lot of people say it didn't follow the book. A lot of people say it was trash. Oh, they did this wrong. They did this wrong. It was boring. And let's be honest. You know, I'm not into vampire movies like that, like that. But I will watch a good one. You know, I like the Blackula movies from back in the day. And I wasn't a fan of Twilight. But certain movies here and there that have vampires, werewolves, and stuff, I will watch them if they're interesting enough. The movie was lackluster in many ways. The pacing was slow. It was boring. And none of the characters besides Aaliyah really stuck out to me. You know what? Let's play a game. Raise your hand if you would have still watched the movie if Aaliyah was not in it. Nobody? No? Nobody? No? Not, not even you? Like I thought. Because without Aaliyah, the movie is trash, okay? Because Aaliyah was attached to it, because she gave her all, she gave such a great performance in that. We can't forget, she was also recording her self-titled album while she was filming that movie. So it's like, she really gave her all to that. And it's kind of like, yeah, if Ali was not in that movie, you know, Queen of the Dam would have been Queen of the, Queen of the Dam would have been a no man. <laughs> Goes into another thing. When you really look at the positives of that movie, Queen of the Dam, Aaliyah is a standout. You know, when it comes to the best part about Queen of the Dam, Aaliyah is in first place. I'll give a nice second place to the music, the soundtrack. The soundtrack was fire. That music, the background music and everything, that really got me into rock. Because you know, I'm not, you know, I listen to all type of music. Rock is not my top five, but I listen to it every once in a green moon, you know? All the Aaliyah fans watching this, am I the only one where every once in a while, you just get that urge to like, almost act like Ali in the movie. She was into the dark side. So seeing her play this character, seeing something out of the norm for her, you know, because she had this certain image, this sweet image, and you know, she was real laid back and cool. So seeing her play an evil vampire, killing people, setting people on fire, and crunching hearts, and oh, oh, doing the voice, and la star, la star. <laughs> seeing her doing all that, it was just, and with the fangs, it was amazing. It just showed the unlocked potential that she had or the massive potential that she had, that she showcased, but the potential that she never got to show us. 
Who like, remember, this is Aaliyah, the R&B singer, you know, queen of urban pop. You know, the one that sang, one in a million. Tell me you're not somebody, and you're not somebody. Try again, try again. You know, this is Aaliyah, and to see her playing this character, am I the only one who, this character still has me in a hole, like, it has me in a, it has me in a chokehold, because I'm like, every once, and I'll tell you, out of nowhere, I would just think about that character and think about think about Ali in the movie, the way she moved, the way she talked, you know, the way she danced, the way she would just move her hands and the, from the costume, the hair, the outfit, the things, the makeup, the way her eyebrows were, just like if anything that came up good out of that movie, it was that it let Ali shine as an actress and it showed her versatility and her variety as an actress. Because you know what? Let me know down below if y'all want to do another video about Romeo Must Die. I'm going to do another video about Romeo Must Die and her character Trish and that. But about this movie, Queen of Kasha, Queen of the Dam, this movie showed that Aaliyah had range. This is only her second movie. Let's talk about that. This is only Aaliyah's second movie. And she already showed that range to be a vampire in the way she did it. And you could say, oh, it's the outfit and the hair, but no, it's her character, the way she did it. See, they had other people consider for the role, but I can't see nobody else but Aaliyah playing that character because she made it so iconic. She made it hers. She took it, she took the script, she took the outfit, she took the hair, she took the makeup, she made it her own. And it's still an iconic character 20 years later. Like I was saying, am I the only one who that character still has a chokehold on me? Like sometimes I'll be finding myself like acting like a vampire or like talking like her or or sometimes I'll think about the scenes randomly and I'm like, damn. And I'll be like, okay, if I was in a vampire movie, like, how would I act? Or what would I do? Or what if I had to, like, suck, suck you know, like, what if I had to, like, eat somebody's heart or, like, do something? Or, you know, how would my accent sound? Or, you know, like, what kind of outfit would I wear? Or, you know, sometimes randomly throughout the day, even when I'm at work, <laughs> I'm at work, right? And I'll be thinking about scenes from the movie. You know, sometimes... You know, the customers be trying to argue with me, and in the back of my head, I'm like, had enough of this discussion. I don't got time for this, okay? Like, we're done. Next! <laughs> and it's a thing where it's just like, man, I know that Queen of the Dam and that character, that wasn't meant to be an Oscar-nominated film, an Oscar-nominated role. <laughs> you really think about it? That was just an appetizer of what Ali could do. The potential she had to really sink her teeth on the roll and give her all. Over the last 20 years, what other film franchises or characters could y'all have seen Aaliyah playing? See her in Blade. I could have seen her as Storm in X-Men. Even I could have seen Aaliyah as like Black Widow. Literally, if Aaliyah had her own character based off her anime for the Japanimation commercial, that could have been a movie, that could have been a whole franchise. Like, I see the vision. Like, I could have seen Aaliyah playing an assassin. Like, I see different things in Aaliyah's film career. Just based off that Queen of the Damn role alone, Aaliyah could have been doing so many different things. And I know a lot of people could be like, oh, why think about something that's never going to happen? But to me, that's just the joy of being an Aaliyah fan because, you know, it's been 20 years and we have the memories, we have the legacy, we have the work she left behind. But you could also think about what else could Aaliyah have done? You know, like, oh, I know what you did last summer, how Brandy did. I would have liked to see a 2000s version of that with, like, Aaliyah. Like, Aaliyah is one of the characters, you know, hopefully she survived to the end. Because, you know, how they do black people in those scary movies, you know? And I would like to see that dynamic of Aaliyah trying to survive, you know, a serial killer or something. Like, I don't know. Like, the potential for Aaliyah was endless. It was endless. Just to sit and watch the whole movie from start to finish, like, the movie is not that entertaining by itself. And, you know, it's kind of like, you know, we can say, and a lot of people like to say, oh, it's all because it's Aaliyah's last movie. The movie, her fans like to hype it up, blah, 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 whatever. And I'll be the first one to say it. I wish the movie held up better over time. But, if anything, at least Aaliyah's character did, you know? How much you want to bet for Halloween, somebody going to be Akasha, a celebrity, or a fan, and it's going to go viral like it does every year? Like, I mean, that's impact. That's iconic, you know? That's legendary. One of the things that bothered me is considering the situation and considering that they had all this time after Aaliyah passed to really mold it. And I know they had to stick to the script and everything, but the way Aaliyah's character died in the end, where it's like she, she turned black and she turned to stone and she basically like disintegrated, I did not enjoy looking at that. And considering how she passed in real life, it was kind of like, 
they could have ended that a better way. Like I said, I know that was a part of the script, you know, but it's like, mm, to be more tasteful, they could have ended it better. And it could have been a more creative way for that to end, you know? And let's talk about how the movie was based on her. Her character, Queen of the Dam, she was only in the movie like 25 minutes. Anyways, guys, that was just my little impromptu video on Alia's character and Queen of the Dam, Queen Akasha, and my thoughts on the movie, the film, her character, how iconic it still is 20 years later. And I just want to get your thoughts on it. Think of any movie that came out in the last 20 years, or could you think of a new movie, a new concept? What other franchises in the horror genre could you have seen Aaliyah in? You know? Because Queen of the Dam, like I said, was only an appetizer. It was only a teaser to the potential Aaliyah had to really show her acting talent. If anything great came out of Queen of the Dam in the legacy of that movie, I'm glad that it showed Aaliyah's versatility as an actress. Right? Right. I mean, something good got to come out of the bad. And it was Aaliyah being the star and showing her talent. Right? I mean, something good with the bad, right? <laughs> Leave your thoughts down below. Let's get this discussion started. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching and listening. I'll see y'all in the next video.